Hello, my name is Dan Lieberman. I'm a professor at Harvard University and the author of the book Exercised, Why Something We Never Evolved to Do is Healthy and Rewarding. Now it's cold and miserable outside and I'd much rather be in bed with my wife and our dog Echo. The problem is I've written this book about exercise and if I don't go, you might think me a hypocrite. But there's a bigger reason I don't want to go running and it's the starting point of my book Exercised. Even though everyone knows exercise is healthy, it's also a weird, modern, abnormal behavior we never evolved to do. Exercise is about as normal as voluntarily going to the dentist. Now, before you accuse me of heresy, let me explain. See, physical activity is any bodily movement produced by muscles, but exercise is planned, voluntary, discretionary physical activity for the sake of health and fitness. Now, for most of human evolution, everyone, old folks included, had to be physically inactive in order to survive. But because food was scarce, Excess calories spent on needless discretionary physical activity, that is exercise, were calories not spent on the only thing natural selection cares about, having babies. Now unfairly, we make people exercised about exercise. We make them feel anxious, worried, and harassed for doing something instinctive, avoiding something inherently unnatural. And by the way, did you know the average sedentary American spends as much energy being active as a typical wild chimpanzee? As my book describes, I've traveled all over the world to study how people use their bodies, and I have never seen hunter-gatherers or subsistence farmers go for an early morning jog or lift weights. Can you imagine explaining to your ancestors that you pay good money to sweat like a pig while going nowhere on a treadmill? And by the way, did you know that treadmills were invented to punish prisoners in Victorian jails? The problem is, our bodies never evolved to stay healthy in a world that has made physical activity optional. So people like me who sit all day in chairs benefit from voluntary exercise. But exercise is about much more than the instinct to avoid exercise. I've combined my experiences in the field and the lab with insights from anthropology, biology, and exercise science to tell the story of how and why we evolved to both move and rest and why it affects our health. Every chapter busts a common myth about exercise that makes people exercise, such as sitting is the new smoking, you need eight hours of sleep, our ancestors were super strong, you can't be good at both speed and endurance. You can't lose weight walking. Running is bad for your knees. It's normal to be less active as we age, and there is an optimal dose and type of exercise. I hope you find exercise fun to read, enlightening, and empowering. I especially hope exercise helps you enjoy being active, but also helps you feel better for the rest of the day when you aren't exercising.